Hey everyone, it's Banjo number one here, and today we're going to be doing my next episode of the tips and tricks kind of videos that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a series of them, multiple series, 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 series. I have no idea what I'm actually the actual words meant to be there, but yeah, um, I'm going to be do doing multiple of them. I'm going to be doing lots of. Tri tips and tricks, different guns, different stats of them, my favourite guns, um, but today I'm going to be doing the play styles, and the second play style in the th all three of them. There's objective ones, which I've already said about on my last video, if you want to go check that out, please do, because that's a pretty good video, I thought. I thought it went over pretty well, so yeah, if you want to go check that out, you go do that. But And then we've got the one we're doing today, which is the Slayer, which is the guy that's going to be getting all the kills keeping them dead, keeping them in their spawn. Uh, basically, another word of calling them is a dick, which is what most people call these people in like online. So if you get spawned by someone and you call them a dick, that's a slayer. That's a slayer right there. And I just stun myself loads. And then the next video, which, are, which I will do soon, maybe Monday or something like that, uh, which will be the uh, support role, which is a bit of a different one. It's a bit like helping your teammate get to places, helping your objective player, supporting anyone who needs help at all. It's just a general role instead of a specific, 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 specific role. Yes, that's what I meant. And I stand myself again. How fun. So the main point about being a slayer is to be getting lots of kills, be near their spawn, but not in their spawn, obviously, because if you're in their spawn, you're a open to multiple attacks. You'll send me many, many times on this map, on this game, just waiting for them to come around the corner, waiting for them, yeah, right there, look, waiting for them to come to me. Never rush in to go to them, unless you're really, really, really confident that you'll be able to kill them. And it is really important that you spawn kill them, try and keep them away from the objectives. As you'll see here, they almost don't take beat a single time. Actually, I don't think they do take beat a single time. I think we keep it the entire game because I'm defending it, which is the main point of a slayer. It's just to keep them away from what they want to be, stop them doing from what they want to do. The main point of having a slayer is just to support the team so that the other players who have other objectives that they want to do don't have to worry too as much about... Uh, like explosives and people running at them everywhere because the Slayer will be killing lots of them. And it's very important that you actually have a designated Slayer for in your like game battles team or wherever you're playing or just for general public matches. You're going to have to have someone that's going to be in their spawn killing them lots so that they can't do anything. Uh, personally, I, I would see myself as a Slayer because I get lots and lots of kills and try not to I try and stay inside their spawn so they can't do anything. Obviously, sometimes if the need arises, I'll be an objective player taking all the capture points. Usually, when that happens, when there's loads of little fucking shit and shit kids on my team, and I have to do all the work for myself. Yeah, <laughs> fucking sucked. It did when I was doing my camp clan matches, and I have to do everything myself. It's really annoying, which is why it's so important to get a good team that will work well with you. Yeah, so this game is actually pretty good. Uh, I think I go 49 in 17, which isn't the most amazing KD ever, but I think the game codes work pretty well. Because I thought, like, halfway through this, I thought I was going for a Moab, because I got, I think I got, like, 15 kills on a row, which doesn't, isn't massive. It's not really massively near a Moab, but it's felt like a lot more than 15, to be honest. I thought I was, like, 5 off a Moab or something like that. And then I get Stealth Bombed, which really sucked. Also, I have a phone call right now, so let me just check who that is. Woo, ringtone! Ringtone friend! Oh, I've got a message. Oh, from Rob. I'm going around Rob's later. So, Rob, if you're watching this now, this is when you... Yep, yeah, 3 o'clock. Come around there. This is when you... You messaged me! Come around at 3 o'clock. But yes. Yes, get sprayed in a corner, whoever you are. So, the guns you want to kind of use is... Basically any single gun that you you're good at. If you if you're if you're fluent with a gun, I can't really think of any other words to put there. If you're fluent with a gun, then you you can use it to be a slayer. Personally, M4A1 is my favourite. 
closely followed by the ACR. I'm not quite sure whether I like the ACR or the M4A1 because they're pretty similar. Uh, ACR's got slightly higher damage but slightly less right, rate of fire. And to be honest, I'd rather rate of fire because you can get more dam more bullets into multiple people, which is pretty good. And yeah, this is the kill streak that I was talking about where I need. I think I thought I was close to a mo, but it was only 15 kill streak. I have still haven't got a mob yet, which is really quite annoying. Yeah, see, this is the spawn killer I'm talking about. You want to get near their spawn, just wait for them to come around the corner and kill them easily. And as you might be able to see here, I try and get the gap that I can actually see them really small, so they can't see me whatsoever. Which is a really good point because you want to you want to make it so you can see them, but they can see as little as possible as you, so that you have a better shot at them. You can and you can control your engagements and generally get a lot of less deaths and a lot more kills. I do pretty well in this game, so it's just proof that being a slayer and doing it well gets you win the wins. Mm. Ah, cherry coke for the win. Alright, how long is left in this? Four minutes remaining. Hmm. What else can I talk about? What else is good about being a slayer? Ah. <sighs> I really have no idea. You just basically you get lots of kills, stay in their spawn, keep spawn trapping them, defend your people. Yeah, you want to def if because if you're, I'm guessing that you're working in a team to try and win the game. When you're, if you're watching this right now, if you're in a game battles team and like you're and you're working together and call outs and all that, yeah, do call outs. Because callouts are really important. Callouts means like just telling your teammates where the enemy are. If you die, tell them where you died. Tell them where the person who kills you were. Tell them where you were going. Yeah. So all these people, if someone calls out that they're going for the flag, and the, you think there might be some people waiting for them to come around the f corner on the flag, go kill that person. Because the majority of the time, the objective player, which is the person who's going to be going for the flag, is going to just run in there and try and grab the flag. Although you might not have that you might have thought about that before and said don't just do that take it a bit slower but yeah if they just run in there you want to get in there first take out that guy all the guys then they can run in there and get it so that's the main point of a slayer just supporting them it, then there's the support role that i'm going to be doing after which is slightly different but similar it's kind of weird and i just got a 12 in the face i think this is a point where they just get really pissed off and use a 12 and really shit guns it's really quite annoying Mm. We don't even win by that much in this game. And I just took a shot to the face. A good thing to to do um, when you're being a slayer is to sponge a lot, but that's automatically on my class because I just massively sponge. Everyone, everyone I ever talk to while I'm playing with them gets really pissed off at that. Cherry coke for the win. So yeah, <laughs> just try and take. As much many bullets as possible. Not that you have a real choice about that, but yeah, actually you kind of do because, as I said before, try and make your body less vulnerable. See, right there, it's the same spot that I said before. Don't make your your body vulnerable. I ran out there and I died instantly. If I had done the same thing as I did before, I wouldn't have died at all. Well, probably. I don't really know because it didn't happen, so I wasn't this. Also here, um, don't fucking go for juggernauts. They're dicks. All these bullets I'm putting in is this juggernaut. I don't even kill him in the end. In the end I just get a 10 point assist. Which really sucked. Because I went so, so much ammo into this guy. It's quite annoying. <sighs> minute. Minute and a half left. So, might as well wrap, start wrapping this up. Look at him camping in the corner. But anyway, I'm going to go around Rob's in a sec. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Please, if you like this video, please comment saying you liked it, saying what I could do better, maybe any tips for what my next videos, my next series of the videos, because this is only a three part series, because it's play style, and then the next one I might be doing um, different gun categories, uh, the next, I don't know, some, I'll think of something, it'll be cool, because I really feel good about this series, it's going to be going really well, and for some reason I just threw a stun in there and stun myself, I don't know why. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Have, have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great evening. And have a great life. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.